Automated deep learning based segmentation of brain and depth electrodes in CT images. A poster presentation for BVM 2021 given by Vanya Vlasov. For some patients with epilepsy, medication doesn't control the seizures. So, in these patients where physicians have to start looking at are there other treatment options available? such as surgical treatment, which can only actually offer a cure for epilepsy, evaluating patients for surgery include large team of specialists, but also diagnostic procedure CEEG, stereoelectroencephalography, that is electrical recording to the brain activity with depth electrodes to try to localize exactly where seizures are coming from. On other hand, there is another depth electrode procedure, DBS, deep brain stimulation, which is a standard surgical treatment of symptoms of epilepsy, movement disorders such as tremor in Parkinson's disease, accessional tremor, dystonia, also for some chronic pain syndromes and symptoms in some psychiatric disorders. In DBS, one or more electrodes are implanted into deep target structures in the brain. These electrodes are connected to a pulse generator that is programmed to send electrical impulses with a specific frequency, pulse width, and amplitude into the target brain tissue. Outcome of both these surgical procedures depends on the precise electrode placement and post-operative goal is to visualize the proper allocation of the electrode deposition from post-implant CT images. CT, computed tomography, is imaging modality that is usually obtained after the stereotactic surgery and modality that is fast, cost-effective and very widely available. It has a property of good visualization of the high-density tissue and materials such as bone or metal structures. However, artifacts from metal intensities or, for example, CT scans with different reconstruction filters such as comb beam CT scans that enhance bone structures, or perhaps overlap of intensities of the electrodes and the bone, um, does not allow decent auto automated distinction between brain tissue and electrodes. And segmentation of these structures with existing methods are inaccurate and not fully automated. Automated and accurate electrode extraction approaches are existing for DBS electrodes. However, to our knowledge, there is no available tools for segmentation of CEG electrodes. But we wanted by including post-operative DBS scans to increase dataset size and ensure network to learn a solution that is robust towards all kinds of depth electrodes. We use the slightly adapted version of the 3D Cascade and an UNET network architecture on our in-house dataset which was comprised of 90 post-surgical subjects. Due to memory restrictions, the large volumes of the CT images are first downsampled to uh, 160 times 160 times 80 voxels and first a 3D low resolution unit is employed followed by a full high-resolution 3D unit on smaller image patches. The output segmentation of the 3D low-resolution network was upsampled to the original image size and then stacked on an additional input channel on the original CT image for 3D patch-based casket unit. In order to mitigate class imbalance problems, the framework utilizes a loss function combining a dice loss and cross entropy loss. Activation function was a leaky ReLU function with inclination of 0.01. The second row of the mathematical equation on the slide is a derivative of the first. The initial learning rate of the stochastic gradient descent was 10 on minus 2 with a decay of 3 times 10 on minus 5. And the learning uh, was terminated due to no further improvement of the validation loss. 
We used random rotation and random translations for the data augmentation. We used 90 anonymized head CT images and manually segmented ground truth mask of those images from patients that underwent routine clinical planning of stereotactic neurosurgical procedures. Images with implant and patient-based artifacts were not excluded from the study. The training data was split into five random cross-validation sets. Test set contained 10 CT images that were unfamiliar to a network for an estimation of the network performance. On the image on the right, the red segmentation results show that the network segmented brain surface and the green segmentation present electrode segmentation of the network. Quantitative results of the test set are 0.89 for mean dice score and it was computed for average time of 230 seconds. Recall of 0.85 for electrode segmentation is reached with shows that the network finds 84% of the voxel segmented in the ground truth of the electrodes. We presented a deep learning automated network that can robustly segment patient-specific depth electrodes after CEG and DBS procedure and brain from CT scans. Our approach may inform on the post-surgical electrode contacts position fast and accurate and can also be a part for neurosurgical and neuroscientific toolboxes and frameworks. Thank you very much for listening and you may read more information about this project in our published paper.